Hey, it's Kendall, and this is 90 Second Church. Before we begin, if you haven't done so already, please follow us on Facebook or subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can catch the next episode. So we're in a series called Foundations. It's about developing foundational habits that help us flourish as followers of Jesus and as a church. This week, we're going to focus on the foundational habit of confession. This idea comes from all over Scripture, but here's one place that talks about it. 1 John 1.9. Very simple, says this, but if we confess our sins to him, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. So here's the thing. We are all broken people and every day, often without even thinking about it, although sometimes we do it on purpose, but every day we push God and others away. Every day we say no to God. I'm in charge, God. It's my life. Now, obviously when we do this, it creates a barrier between us and God and, and other people. And so if you want to build a strong foundation as a follower of Jesus, you need to regularly practice confession. Now, it's not complex. It's actually very simple. Here are three steps. Okay, first, stop. <laughs> All right? Stop long enough to ask this question. Is there anything right now? Is there anything between me and God or me and another person? Is there any way in which I have sinned? And the answer to that, if you're honest, well, it's nearly always, yep, <laughs> I have. And then second, what you do is once you identify that, you confess your sin out loud. I find it always helpful to do it out loud, first to God and then to the other person if there is one. And, and you can pray something like this, God, I let anger hold, take hold of me today. I was wrong. Please forgive me. A third step, and this is really important, receive God's forgiveness. All right, don't just confess your sin, but then receive his forgiveness. 1 John 1, 9 says that when we confess our sin, God forgives us. By the power of Jesus' death and resurrection, we are forgiven. We're in that instant we were made right. Now, if you've sinned against another person, it might take them longer to forgive you than it does today. It does take God. But, but make the first move. You know, too often we, we hang on to our sin. We feel bad about it. We beat ourselves up with it. But, but it doesn't have to be that way. You can be free. So take a moment today and start practicing confession. We'll talk to you soon.